Hey, what is going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So today I was just messing around in After Effects because there's nothing else to do because we're getting hit by a hurricane here in Florida. But um, I was playing around and I wanted to kind of create this infinite loop, which turned out to be a tunnel. So, you know, I think it's really cool. We've been messing around with shape layers recently on the channel. And I went ahead and wanted to go ahead and explore this further and kind of create this infinite loop and, you know, be really cool. So this is kind of what we'll be creating here in this tutorial. All right, so as you can see, I mean, it's pretty much, uh, you know, an infinite loop that will go on forever. And, you know, initially after we start uh, set this up, you, it's basically uh, automated. So you can, you know, set this up quite quickly to go on for, you know, you know, 10 hours if you really want. And, you know, it can be really cool if you're doing some sort of retro sort of, you know, effect or some sort of, you know, lyric music video or something, you know, this could be kind of cool. So, you know, I just thought it'd be interesting to do this. So let's go here and create a new comp and I'll call it tut. And let's start off by going up to our shapes over here at the top. And let's go ahead and grab maybe like the rounded rectangle tool. And let's just go ahead here and just draw out like a rectangle sort of like this. And, you know, it's pretty simple. So let's go here to our contents and let's delete the fill and let's go to the stroke and let's go ahead and increase the stroke width by a little bit like that. So now that we have the shape here, what we can do is just go here, hit R on our keyboard to bring up rotation and make this layer a 3D layer. And let's go to the Y rotation here and let's go ahead and maybe set this to negative 90 degrees. And basically it's now turned right at us, so no big deal. What we'll do is we'll hit P on our keyboard to bring up position and we can kind of just move the X position over to where we see this. Okay, so this will kind of be like our uh, sort of 3D reference. So let's go here, go back to the contents, go to the rectangle one, and uh, let's see, let's go into the rectangle path. Let's break the size and let's kind of maybe make this a little bit longer so it's just not too skinny or whatever. Okay, and that's pretty good. Then let's go here and Let's go to add here and let's go ahead and click on repeater and let's go ahead and open up the repeater properties and let's go into the transform repeater one and let's go ahead and increase the position, the X position, you know, by like 2000 or something, you know, and then increase the number of copies here. And then as you can see, this will kind of go on, you know, forever, you know, as far as we can see. And if you want, you can go ahead and set this up to like 500 or something. You can always come back later to adjust this. But um, as you can see now, if we go here and go to the transform rectangle one here. And we go ahead and increase the uh, X position. And you can see this will kind of go flying right past us. So let's go here to rectangle one transform. Let's go ahead and click the stopwatch for position. And let's go to like five seconds. And let's go ahead and just kind of increase the uh, X position to go right past us. And, and I'm holding down shift so we can uh, quickly increase the uh, number here. So. Now, as you can see, this will kind of go on past us forever. And this is a good opportunity for us to uh, continue to build on this. So let me go here to the beginning here. Let's go ahead and maybe just grab like the rectangle tool. And we'll kind of go here and just draw out like, uh, well, maybe not right there, but let's just draw out like a rectangle kind of like this. Maybe we can change the color of it to like, well, let's go here. Let's delete the stroke. And yeah, here we are. Let's go ahead and maybe set this one to blue. And then we go to the rectangle path and we can increase like the size of this. Be like that. Maybe the X value. Okay. All right. And then we have this. And then uh, one thing that I did was I put the repeater one in underneath our rectangle one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this outside of our rectangle. So then um, this will basically repeat um, all the way through for whatever we, whatever shape that we put in this shape layer, this will repeat as well. And maybe what I'll do is go back in here and I'll just adjust the position X a little bit. And before we do anything else, let's go into rectangle one and let's copy the position keyframes and let's go into rectangle two and let's paste the position keyframes into here and just kind of lower this down back into place. Then let's go ahead and duplicate rectangle two and let's maybe just move uh, this one down a little bit and maybe we'll change the color of this one to like purple. And let's go into the path here. Let's break the chain. Let's make it a little bit skinnier here. All right. And, you know, it's looking pretty good. Make sure if you change the uh, Y position of the keyframes here, make sure they're both selected so uh, you don't, like, accidentally animate it to move a little bit. But what we're going to do now is we're going to select our rectangle 2 and 3 here and duplicate it once again. Maybe we'll bring it to the top. And we just got to move these individually to... Um, 
to up here. So make sure both the keyframes here are selected. Let's go ahead and just move the Y uh, value to the top here. And then let's go ahead and go there to rectangle four, go to the transform, select both the keyframes and we'll move it, move the purple here to the top. So if we take a look at what we have done, as you can see, this will kind of just go on forever and we can now can build our tunnel. So what I'll do now is I'll just duplicate our shape layer here. Maybe I'll call this one left and we'll call this one right. And what I'll do is I'll hit P on my keyboard for position and I'll just kind of go over here and I will just move this to this side here. You know, as you can see, it looks, you know, pretty good. And then what we can do now is maybe just duplicate this one again. We'll maybe we'll call this one bottom. And let's go ahead and uh, hit R on our keyboard for rotation. And let's go to the orientation here. And let me just come here and set the uh, the Z orientation to 90 degrees or the last orientation. All right. And then let's go here to hit P on our keyboard for position. And let's just kind of lower this down the Y uh, position here and let's go here. The X position is kind of just move this in place to where it's like kind of in the middle. All right. And then let's go ahead and duplicate the bottom again and we'll hit P on our keyboard and we'll just kind of raise this one up the Y position. And now we kind of have like this tunnel that will go on forever. And then what we'll do now is we'll go to layer new adjustment layer and we'll go to, you know, effect stylize glow. And that will kind of help, you know, create this sort of awesome glow effect. So maybe what I'll do is I'll, you know, change the glow threshold to 50% and maybe put the glow radius to 60. And this will kind of just, you know, make things a little bit more, I guess, retro-y, have that sort of retro glow to it. So let's say we want to go down the tunnel for a very long time. All we have to do is hit U on our keyboard and, you know, basically... You know, this is a little tedious part, but all we do is kind of like just expand the keyframes out and, you know, just uh, come here and adjust the um, X position. So as you can see, we'll just move, continue to move further down the tunnel and just drag it out. So just make sure everything's selected here and there's all your keyframes. So, I mean, as you can see, I mean, it's pretty simple to do this. In my uh, demo, all I did extra was kind of just add a grid for a background. Um, and I also added some audio. If you want to know how to do audio reaction or how to react anything in uh, After Effects to audio, you go ahead and click on this video that just popped up now. It'll open up in the new tab and you can go ahead and check out how to audio react anything. So you can take this effect even further. And after a quick render, this is what we have and it's pretty much as promised. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button for more After Effects tutorials just like this. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like because it helps me out tremendously. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully I'll see you soon.